So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're talking about Call of Duty World War II and a new game update that just occurred post-patch 1.05. Now this game update is going to address a few things, but we're going to talk about the patch notes that we have available to us. So if you learn anything, drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. A lot of tweets came out, and so we're going to cover those, but... If anything sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So with the game being out two weeks now, it's definitely gotten a lot more stable. We've been noticing a lot more game updates occurring than usual, and that's due in part to many complications that are happening. We know that in past experiences with Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare, they've been connecting weapon changes with camo changes, and when you change one thing, it affects a series of other things within the meta of the game and it causes a lot of problems. However, other game developers such as Bungie did all that trial and error during Halo before they moved into Destiny, so if you're a fan of Destiny or Destiny 2 you know all about this. They've separated their meta in certain ways so they won't have problems when they address one thing. In fact, it's built entirely separate from the rest of the stuff, but they're connected. And uh, I feel like there's just a development error altogether on that occurring. And that's what we're dealing with today. Glenn Schofield put out a tweet, by the way, to the devs of Sledgehammer. They're still crunching long hours after launch on updates. Thank you. That can't be said enough. You are awesome. We got your backs at Prepro. So where there are days when we don't hear back from Sledgehammer or any of the main developers, today is the day we did. Yesterday. And we get information every now and then, but I'll always update you in my videos as to what these developers are saying between Infinity War, Treyarch, and now Sledgehammer Games throughout this year. These are things I feel that are important to update on the channel, and that's what you'll get in each and every video. So make sure you subscribe and activate that bell icon so you can stay up to date. Lately I've been grinding a lot of multiplayer. I've been having a lot of fun with it. This seems to be sort of a glitch in prestiging with zombies. You can't earn any more zombie crates. But I did get an epic PPSH right here. This isn't heroic by any means and it doesn't have a zombie perk. But it's called Duck Soup. And it does, it's the rusty version, it's not the absolute shiny how you doing version that we all want. But it'll help me validate my point and that is I want to ask you guys to leave a comment down below right now. If you guys have any weapons that you've been opening in these supply drops, whether they're rare or common, let me know if you got any zombie perks on them. What's the zombie perk called and what does it do? I'm trying to make some sort of a database for myself as to all of them that are out there right now because I want to collect them all. So if you guys have any information as to weapons with zombie perks, let me know in the comment section below. So as I was ranking up to rank 55, I noticed a glitch that's happening right now on Point Du Hawk. And personally I was able to get into this glitch, which I will showcase today, and it's a very dangerous one because it makes you invisible and you can hide inside of a rock and be invincible if you're positioned right and actually shoot through it and kill the other team so this is something that's very serious and uh, I can't believe that it's actually a real thing but uh, <laughs> you can hop right into this rock and be completely invisible and you'll notice everybody is doing this on point to hawk so just know if you get this map you're probably getting killed outside of the map and this is where it's coming from so keep your head up and look over in this area and you'll find it Glenn Schofield is aware, and they're looking into it right now. This guy did report it and got a response, so this is going to be patched eventually. It's 100% legit. I got into it. You're seeing it now. So it's something I want fixed, absolutely. But at some point last night, I did reach rank 55. You actually have to fill the meter one more level, so it's like getting to rank 56. But that allows you to go straight in here to Prestige. The guys just moved. And in the headquarters here, you can go straight to the general, but the general is going to allow you to prestige. And something I'm very interested in is where it says prestige rewards. You'll be granted access to a special set of prestige rewards and challenges. So let me know in the comment section if you're at prestige 2 or 3, you have more experience with this. How do I actually obtain this stuff? Let's take a look at what happens when you actually trigger prestige 1. You have the options of a few rewards. Piece of gear you can't do without. You can make it a permanent part of your kit. 
Or maybe you want to try something new and break old habits. Hell, you can even tear off your stars and get back in the trenches as a private. You're to Always good to the see. Old way. So it seems like the general's trying to tell me something. There's re other rewards I can earn. There's this cool e emblem of Prestige One that floats above my head, and this only lasts as long as the lobby lasts. If you actually go into the one v one pit, I, this does disappear. It disappeared on me, and so it it's only a very limited time once you Prestige. But I love that there's some appreciation towards it. There's a full animation that happens when you Prestige. And I believe this is Pride Rock. So now I'm officially Prestige 1 in multiplayer. And a lot of people didn't want me to Prestige in Zombies. But I want to get that XP rolling. You know, it's the early days. And it was double XP. I wanted to get past it. And so yeah, I Prestiged in Zombies as well. But in multiplayer, at least in the headquarters, if your friends haven't reached this rank, they cannot enter this area. This is a very prestigious area. A restricted area specifically for people who have prestige to come visit the general so I think that's really cool but prestiging was just a bonus I've been leveling up weapons trying to get them gold all my wall weapons and zombies at least for the final Reich looking at the calling cards there wasn't really a new calling card but we got a new helmet the prestige one standard issue for reaching prestige one I'm not sure if we're gonna be receiving more helmets as we move forward in the prestiges but we did get one for the first time and this is just the same story when we beat the Panzer Mordor in zombies we got a special helmet for that so I wanted to document that this was actually happening let me know in the comment section if you've gotten your reward for prestiging in multiplayer the only thing of really distinctive value that you got was another prestige token and these you can use to permanently unlock weapons or equipment right away so you don't have to reach a certain rank for it to be unlocked I'm saving mine I want to save them just in case there's DLC weapons that come and I can unlock them right away. I'm not sure if those are going to become free sort of DLC add-ons just like Infinity Ward did in their season pass, but I'd love to see that absolutely. But I don't know, what do you guys think about Headquarters? Do you feel that it's like 60 to 70 percent complete? Not quite there yet. I know it's supposed to be filled with 48 players and that's something I haven't even seen yet. I know PC players aren't having a problem, but over here on the console we're not really seeing any sort of other players come in, at least in that magnitude. And I absolutely think that would enhance the experience, especially increasing social score by opening supply drops and maybe some people having the honor of opening zombie supply drops because the glitch is real, man. I prestiged in zombies and the problem is, is I'm earning zombie supply drops and I can't open them. They're not showing up after the game ends. But I'm currently grinding multiplayer with the Type 100, trying to get 100 headshots moving into the final sets of the camos to make that gold. That'll make three, and I've been working a little bit on the PPSH. I don't know, it's just something I like doing. It's something I'm trying to do right now while the looting system gets figured out and we can earn more and more weapons. But I want to know more about the zombie perks that we can get on these weapons. I'm trying to collect them all, you know what I'm saying? Do me a favor, comment down below any zombie perks that you're seeing on your weapons, whether it's epic or heroic. I'm really interested in knowing if any of your weapons are heroic and have zombie perks on them. And I want to know what they do. So that way we can get sort of a database going. At least on my end, it would really help out. But I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.